Hey guys, here we got the uh, G-Rose, the Chamber 2s, a uh, shoe that works pretty well with the uh, Avery Rimtech pedal. So first off, we're going to start with the shim. As you can see, the shim kind of looks like a smiley face, and the proper shim placement is going to be on the downside of the rim plate, smiley face smiling towards the heel. And of course, this is going to go underneath the rim plate right here, but uh, just like that. Boom. That's the shim placement. Let's jump into the rim plate placement. Uh, we highly recommend moving the plate down towards the heel. That's about as far as down as it can go because the, again, the Avery Rim Tech pedals, they crave to be ridden like plat pedals. And so you just have better a better feel, better control when you do move the plate down. Might take some getting used to for some riders, especially if you come from clipless, but uh, this is how we recommend it. So back to it down towards the heel and then move the plate towards the outside of the sole. That way you can get good grip with the pins from the pedal and the key spots. It feels groovy. All right, let's jump into the uh, pin placement. Here is what we recommend. The uh, hot pink, the groovy hot pink pins. Uh, those are what we call referred to as the shorties. And then we have the K9 pins. They're a little bit taller than the shorties. We recommend putting the K9s in these two places. This is a left pedal, left shoe. So the top of the pedal, this is the top, this is the bottom of the pedal. Uh, K9s here, and then the shorties. These are the key spots for the shorty. What we really recommend for the G-Rows, uh, the only two places that you will not need pins are right here and here. And these aren't necessary, but again, for OCD purposes. We don't want to piss our OCD off and the color just looks good on the blue. And again, with these, you can take out or leave in. It's gonna give you more grip with them, but uh, if you want a little more float, you can remove these. And you could even remove these if you chose to. You could dial it into how you like to feel, but this is what we recommend. And then this is gonna be a little more for aggressive, steep riding, uh, uh, some gnarly downhill stuff because your weight's going to be more on the front of the pedal or you're trying to get more weight on the front of the pedal and this is going to give you a little more grip and a little more control between the uh, interface between the shoe and the pedal again k9s boom like the other side you're just adding the k9s in these spots right here and then that's just just because uh, no pins here as well all right let's go to the shoe get a good look at that and then this setup is the first one that we talked about with the K9s. You got very little space with the sole and the shoe right here. That's important. K9s touching the sole. You got all the shorties that are digging in as well. You got good connection, nice and grippy. One of the key things you need to look forward to is once you have the pedal shoe interface them connected together, you do not want teeter-tot in the magnet body. You want 100% connection with the rim plate. And if this is teeter-totting, then you might have to adjust the rim plate a little or you know, move the shim around just a tad bit. You can get it dialed in. So there, there we have 100% connection. That's what you're looking for. All right, mahalo.